In this lab we're going to create uh, a calculator which um, takes numbers from a user uh, but instead of just adding up two numbers it will keep adding up the numbers as many numbers as the user wants to add up it will also show the user what numbers they've entered and show a running total in the box here this is an example of it very simple so if I put a number in I press add it's shown here and the total shown at the bottom and then I put another one in so it's 20 and it keeps showing each time what's entered by the user and showing a cumulative total at the bottom and that's basically it so let's have a look how we're going to set this up so first of all we need to do uh, a new project I'll just save the old one So we've got Windows Form application, this time it's Lab2C and I'm going to call it List Calculator. Uh, I've got Windows Form application selected so press OK. Uh, my forms come up, I've already got my Properties window and my Solution Explorer um, displayed. If you've forgotten how to do those go back to Lab2 2A which shows you how to do these. First of all let's change the name of the form, it's called Form 1 on there so I'm going to call this List Calculator if I could spell properly, Calculator never get that one right. OK so I've got that so first of all, whoops, let's go back to my uh, form, uh, let's put a label up here which tells the user, in fact let's make the form a little larger uh, put a label which is just going to tell them to enter their number so put number there let's put a text box next to the label this text box is just which the user puts the number in so using the same convention txt as the prefix and we're only going to have one number to enter so I'm going to call that number um, I need to have a list box over here which is going to show all the numbers entered by the user so a list box is similar to a test box, a text box except it shows a list of items uh, which you should see in a moment so instead of just showing one particular piece of text we can have a row of items a column of items sorry lots of rows down here um, defaults called list box once again don't like that naming convention so I'm going to go into the name property this time I'm going to use the prefix of LST for list, so I know in my programming code that I'm referring to a list box, not a text box. And I'm just going to call this list numbers because it's going to have all the numbers in there. Um, what else do we need on there? Well, we need a button because when they click on the button, it's going to add the numbers up. So I don't know where to put that. Let's put that about level here, over to the side, and the text for the button is just add okay so I've got the basic layout now what I need the final thing I need is a text box to show the total so let's find text box well let's give it a label first and I'm going to put it over here somewhere just underneath there change the text of the label to total okay and let's put the text box which is going to hold the total value I'll just make it the same size as the list box so that's going to have the total of all these numbers which have been entered once again let's, let's change the name of that text box txt total so at this point I realize my form is a bit big let's just close it up a little so at this point you've got the basic controls you need for your list calculator so pause the video at this point set up the form and then we're going to have a look at the code okay let's put the code in so we double click on the add button uh, don't worry about the fact there's already some code at the top that's because I clicked by mistake on the form I can actually get rid of that so this is where I want to put my code so this is the procedure that runs the code that runs when my add button is clicked uh, now first of all what I want to do is add the values 
add to my into my list box any number the user has entered. So I got my list box. I type in LST, and I get my list box called numbers. Now this is slightly different than the test text, text box. List boxes have items. They have lists of items. So I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to look for items, and it comes up with it. And what I want to do is add a new item to my list. So the code I've entered is is basically saying add an item to my list box called list numbers. Now what I want to do, and I put this in brackets, is I've got to tell it what item to add. Well, the item I want to add to my list is the number that the user's keyed in. The number the user's keyed in is held in the text box. So I know it's in txt number and as before we have to refer to the text I want the text that's been entered into that text box and that's it so that line of code is going to add any number the user's enter is going to keep adding it to the list so I've got a record of them and as before though what I need to do is add up add that number entered to the total so I've got a running total of what they're entered my total is held in the text box called total and I'm going to add that to the text now because we want a running total I'm going to put total in again because what I'm basically saying is whatever's in the total add the number the next number that's been added to it so total is going to re equal anything that's already in total plus whatever has been entered by the user in this number this text box now if you looked at, uh, if you can remember back to lab 2A, remember we're dealing with numbers here. So we want to make sure that the whatever the text is is converted to a number. And we use this val function, val function, which converts the text to a number so we know it's going to add up correctly. And that's our final line of code. So what we've got there is we're adding to whatever's in the total already. We're adding the number the user's just keyed in and we've got a new total as a result uh, and that basically is what we all we need for our list calculator so at this point put that piece of code in so double click on your add button enter this code uh, and then press the play button to play your program